What does it mean to be a designer maker in a contemporary world of robotics, advanced materials, and batch manufacturing? Experimental design studio Altifact interrogates old and new modes of production through their collaborative practice, which combines centuries-old ceramic techniques with 3D printing technology. Lucille C. Ilano and Ben Lando founded Altifact in Melbourne in 2014. Together, they produce one-off, small batch and production ceramic pieces, as well as delivering hands-on educational workshops. Altifact combines the duo's shared experiences and complementary skills to produce truly unique pieces that push the boundaries of what is considered craft and design. The NGV holds several pieces by Altifact in the collection. In 2018, Hugh Williamson, Curator of Contemporary Design and Architecture, Simon Liamon, curated their solo presentation, Ornament is Fine, at the Ian Potter Centre, NGV Australia. Ben and Lucille will talk us through their design and production process and share insights into their unique approach to contemporary craft practice. Before starting our studio, we were greatly influenced by our tutor Unfold, who taught us during our masters. We were intrigued by the combination of clay and 3D printing, a material with a long history of use and a new fabrication technology. We used our savings to build the first printer rather than wait for grants, the right opportunity or external expertise. We adapted an open source printer design to build our first printer ourselves. Since then, we have developed a studio production model, which falls into two categories, the clay and the digital. We use the finest, whitest porcelain. It is mixed with the necessary pigments and thinning agents and pressed into cartridges ready to be printed using air pressure. For the digital files, we begin with pencil sketches which we digitalize using 3D modeling software on the computer. Then we recode them using a slicing software that converts the 3D shapes to code, able to be read by the printer. A simple object may take 30 seconds to model or an hour for something complex. We typically print 10 to 15 tests with small changes, with firing and glazing before we are happy with the final object of series. All objects we print are fired to 1,000 degrees, glazed and then refired to 1,300 degrees. Our practice with 3D printing clay utilizes the material and the technology to question and understand both. For instance, we use overhanging sections in the model that result in loops, showing the serendipitous nature of the clay as it falls. We strive to make objects that cannot be made using other methodologies by creating a hatched weave or heavily textured surfaces. On a plastic 3D printer, which strives for perfection, these textures are error. But in clay, which aims for an aesthetic quality, they become features of a new aesthetic. These new ornaments are the results of the collision of these two technologies. Since our exhibition at the NGV in 2018, We've built three more printers, including one to print large flat objects and two to tour for educational workshops. We balance our production between one-off pieces, batch produced work, exhibition installation and commissions. Ultimately, we want to make larger objects and installations. <laughs>